Hello, my name is Mara Brown and I'm the director at Carleton Dominion Chalmers Center located in downtown Ottawa. Arts and entertainment provide us with joy and an opportunity to escape in our everyday lives. During times of crisis and uh, uncertainty, it's also a coping mechanism for many. Some of the most riveting artistic creations have emerged from periods of chaotic upheaval in our world. During this current global pandemic, we are again following the natural pattern and instinct of turning to literature, music, film, and artistic craft to fuel us while we spend more time in our homes. It is fair to say that the large group gatherings hosted in performance halls and stadiums will be one of the last to return, but it is a most fascinating time to witness this rapid evolution of how we're adapting to and sharing art through advanced online technologies. The collaboration and innovation has been phenomenal. But there are inherent challenges and questions that require much attention. Uh, from an operational standpoint, uh, groups are needing to reimagine so many things. Uh, marketing strategies and how online events are being promoted or even found online amidst hundreds of other different platforms. And how is outreach and attendance being measured? Um, how is the online experience being organized or simplified for the various demographics who have limited access to technology or have varying levels of comfort using technology? Then there are artistic concerns um, and how the artistic integrity is being maintained. Acknowledging, for example, that the camera's eye is going to capture something very, very specific or a very particular viewpoint. So a stage manager or artistic rep may need to be assigned to ensure that the appropriate camera angle is used. There are risks that the quality of a recording may be sacrificed or in live streaming, there may be technical setbacks or inadequate mixing that could reflect poorly on the overall performance and impact the reputation of the group. Um, financial considerations are plenty. You know, how are artists being reasonably compensated, particularly when consumers are expecting online experiences to be free or very low cost? Uh, if the material is going to be online for an extended period of time, are artists going to be comfortable and compensated for ongoing access? You know, what do international audiences look like in this context and how are they making payment? Um, for venues, how can the venue support and subsidize artists but still pay their operating costs? How is safety and cleaning standards being addressed? How are staff being trained and prepared for evolving protocols? And when audiences are invited back into the venues, how is physical distancing maintained in not only the performance seating, but in the lobbies, the, per the washrooms, the entrances, the stage itself, how many artists can fit on the stage? All of these topics and beyond require great planning and mindfulness, but the best part about the creative industries is the people. So having the ability to creatively problem solve, evolve, and adapt. Um, it is artists who can find ways to, to set fire to a stage night after night in a theater. Um, it's artists who can can promote political change through a poem or a brushstroke. Um, it's artists who can hone their craft to such an extent that they can bring an audience to tears. So yes, the creative industries, like many other sectors, are being challenged during this global pandemic, but the organizations and the independent artists will evolve to recover. And while in-person gatherings could never be replaced, I know that the sector will have great global impact in advancing online technologies and online modalities to create emotive and interactive experiences to support communities at large. I must thank the Sprott School of Business for starting this Shifting Landscapes Dialogue. Um, it is a very important initiative at this time in history. Thank you.